Hello everyone and welcome back to Rubble Brick. Today we're back in the factory. We're going to make a comic and I have my daughter here with me and she's going to be kind of my assistant here today as we're trying to do this. Now as you see, um, and I'll kind of show you this a little bit, we have a scissor lift. So we have Glenn up in the, in the scissor lift. He's actually kind of facing the wrong way. We'll get him the right way here. So you can all say hi to Glenn. Glenn say hi, but unfortunately he doesn't weigh very well. All right, so I can push this down, and I have a rubber band in here. So this was really kind of uh, boggling my daughter's mind here for a second, trying to figure out exactly how this was going up, because she did not see the rubber band underneath. Now, as we look inside here, and I'm way off here. So I do have just a simple rubber band, and it's just inside there. But this piece down here is just kind of free-floating, so if I'm not careful... This whole thing can just tip right on over. So that's the limitations of how I built it and what we have to kind of deal with. So today's comic, I will talk through this first and then we will get the pictures done and I'll edit it and then we will get going. But before we start, uh, there were a couple changes to the plant and I don't think we covered them last time. Um, I was thinking because we have our figures here, let me zoom in on our figures. So they're making uh, their action figures. I was thinking, okay, well, maybe we can have some ships. But unfortunately, I have a old poly bag X-Wing from one of the last trilogy series, uh, Poe Dameron's X-Wing here. And that's kind of on the big side, especially if I can pick up... See, I got Benny sitting here, so... Um, Look at Benny here, and he's kind of standing here. That's kind of on the big side. I think it would actually work for the minifigures, you know, for their action figures. But if you're talking about an actual person trying to hold this, you're not going to fly it around and go zoom, zoom. So with that being the case, um, I had to kind of scratch it, so I just put it on top of our presses. Uh, as we kind of move through, <clears throat> the other big change, <clears throat> excuse me, that I don't think we covered. I did not finish the um, second floor here, but this used to be up quite a bit higher. So I have a sofa and I have a table, and this is quite a bit lower than what we had before. So as I move that off, we have that, and that's kind of sitting the way it was. We have our reception desk, we have a TV, we have our copy machine, fax machine, all that fun stuff. And then as I set this on here, if I can get it in here correctly, and sometimes I do have to fight with it. If it's right on there, this all kind of matches up pretty good. Um, I am planning on getting this wall kind of finished, maybe have a mezzanine here a little bit. Um, the mezzanine on the other side, we have railings going all the way across. I was able to pick some of those up, so we have that all done. So with that being said, we're going to get to our comic. We'll talk through it first. Uh, I've got the idea in my mind because my my daughter here kind of helped come up with the idea. So if you're well, if she helped come up with the idea, let's kind of shoot this. She was thinking we'll have somebody hang, but here we have Glenn, our mechanic. He's got to change light bulbs or something. So we're going to have Glenn. We have a very small, I mean, it's it's a thread here, so um, he is anchored in there. And as you can see, it is very, it's a regular, regular thread, but it looks small. So he is anchored in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make him come over here by our racking system. Unfortunately, it is a little darker here. And then we'll we'll try and get a picture of him right here. And I'm sure there's probably a way to do this on your phone, and I can't figure it out unless my daughter knows. Is there a way you can do that? You can take it. You want to try it? Okay, well, we're going to try this. If this fails, we'll have to edit it out and go. Okay. Ooh. All right, my daughter's a genius. I'm an old old, old guy that's just kind of losing the touch of technology, I guess. Um, oh, well. <laughs> All right. So we have Glenn up here. Um you know, he's got to change the light bulb. Here, let me uh, let me get a light on. See if I can get this correctly. As I figure out which side I'm doing this, because 
have it hanging up here. All right, and I'm going to drop this little headlamp on myself if I'm not careful. All right, so we do have a little extra light, not much, but a little extra light. And then we're going to take him and then we're going to put him up on the railing a little bit if I can get him up there. Um, can you hold that? Okay, so now my daughter's got the phone, so it's not me banging it around. It does make it a little easier. Okay, if I can get him kind of standing up here a little bit, that'll be nice. Oh, come on, Glenn. Glenn is drunk, I think. All right, so we're going to put Glenn all the way up here. Because you should never be standing up on that railing like that. And we're going to have him up here. We're going to have his arms up like he's trying to change a light. And we're going to get a photo of that. So I'm taking over here a second. And hopefully we got that. Now, got it? Okay. And then we're going to have him fall. So with that being said, if I could get something, hmm, if I only had something handy I could use, well, okay, well, we'll do that. We'll have a dangle there, and we're going to zoom in a little bit more, and we're going to get another photo, and then we've got to get someone to make fun of him. Well... Let me get these guys out of the way because that's from last week's uh, when we had Lex kind of trying to jump onto a trailer. Let's get, um, I was looking for Kelvin before and I couldn't find him because I had everybody on the pool table and suddenly now I can't find him. Um, sugars. Just how things go as I'm trying to do multiple comics and keep up with everything else. Nope, that's not Kelvin. All right. Oh, actually, I got Kelvin sitting right in front of me, and I'm not even paying attention. So here's Kelvin. All right. So now we got Kelvin. All right. So let's get Kelvin down here. We're going to look up. And let's kind of center in on Kelvin a little bit more as I'm knocking something else over. And we'll throw in a speech bubble there. And then we're going to swing back around and we get that. Okay. So we're going to stop here and I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to have, have Glenn trying to change the light bulb and he's just going to be a little shy of being able to reach. So he reaches all the way up there and he climbs up and he goes to reach for it and he slips and falls and he'll probably say help. And then Kelvin comes around and says, Glenn, that looked fun. Can I try that? And then he'll probably yell out, would you help just, or would you just help get me down or something like that? So that's where we're, we're going to try and go. Um, when I come back, we'll, we'll have the pictures edited and get it all in here. And then uh, we'll see how the laughs go. And with that being said, thank you for watching today. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you have a great day and keep working.